Safari. Hiya, so I just wanted to show you one of my favourite tweaks for iOS 7 called CC Loader. It's a fairly simple tweak, but a really useful one. And what it allows you to do is to reorder and remove sections from your control center. So basically to customize what's in your control center. So I'll just open control center here now first. 1658. Status button. Control center. Hotspot. Off. Wi-Fi. Off. Bluetooth. Do not just Rotation lock. Brightness. Trap position. Previous track. Play. Next track. Volume. A drop. Flashlight. Clock. Cal camera. So as you can see, I have all the usual sections here that are standard in the control center. So at the top I've got my toggles, then I've got the brightness, and then I've got the media controls, then the airdrop and airplay buttons, and then the quick launch section with the flashlight, the clock, and so on. So that's the standard control center. CC Loader, though, is going to let me customize this. Settings. Flip launch. Flip control. Display recorder. CC Loader. CC Loader. Settings. That button. So in the settings panel for CC Loader, you can reorder the sections of the control center and you can also remove them all together or add other ones in. So if developers can create new things to put into your control center as well, I'll show you that in a second. Enabled sections. Heading. Set brightness. Enabled sections. Heading. So first we have the enabled settings sections. Button. So I've got settings, which is the toggles. Brightness. Brightness. Me airplay slash air media controls. Airplay slash airdrop. Quick launch button. So there are the five sections and they're in they appear in the order that you put them here in the settings. So if I decide I don't really use the media controls, for example, very often, I can just drag it out of here. Media controls. Me reorder media controls. Button. Draggable. Move move below move below share widget. Disabled sections. Heading. But SMS. Share widget. Media controls. So we can see that media controls is now under the disabled section. So if I open control center now. 1700 hours. Status bar item. Rows 1 to 9 of 15. Brightness. 30. Bluetooth. On. Wi-Fi. Off. Brightness. Flashlight. Off. Brightness. A drop. Flashlight. Off. Button. And as you can see and as you can hear, there is now no media controls in my control center. So the control center is much smaller now because it's missing that section. Back into settings now and there is another tweak I really like called share widget for control center and this basically gives you the Twitter and Facebook share sheets um, in your control center so a little bit like what we had in the notification center in iOS 6 where we had those quick tweet and quick Facebook post buttons so this puts them into your control center so I went to City I downloaded share widget for control center and that is compatible with CC loader so it automatically appears here in the CC loader settings. Share widget. Media control. Reorder share widget. Button. Draggable. So I go to reorder share widget. And the way you move this is like uh, you find in other settings panels on iOS. So you double tap and hold. And then drag Moved up above media down. controls. Row minus 9000. Row 4 of 3. Moved above airplay slash airdrop. And let go when it's where I want it. So now if I go into control center. 1701. Status bar item. Rows 1 to 9 of 15. Bluetooth. On. Bright. Twitter. Button. Facebook. Button. And as you can see, I've got these Facebook and Twitter buttons now. So that is basically how you use the CC Loader settings panel. So you can drag things around, change what order they're appearing in. And you can also remove things altogether and add third party widgets into control center. So it's a really powerful tweak, really useful just to customize your control center. It's quite simple on one hand, but really useful and powerful on the other. There's a couple of other options down here just to show you as well. Media control, but SMS, row seven to options, heading, show separators, switch button on. So show separators, uh, that's just a visual thing that shows little lines between the different sections. They are there by standard in iOS, but you can remove them if you want. Dynamic media controls, switch button, off. And dynamic media controls, what this is, is if you have media controls in your control center, they'll only appear if you've got media playing, but the media controls won't be there if media isn't playing. So that's what that option is all about. Rows one to nine of 15. Two other tweaks I would recommend to use with this, as well as share widget for control center, which I mentioned already. Settings, that button. Is flip launch, button. Flip launch. Flip control center, button. And flip control center. 
and these allow you to customize what appears in your settings toggles and in your quick launch sections of control center so if you want to have different toggles or different uh, shortcuts app shortcuts in your control center they are two really good tweaks to use as well and the great thing about all these tweaks i've mentioned cc loader share widget flick launch and flip control center is they're all free in Cydia. So I really recommend checking these out if you want to customize your control center, all fully accessible with voiceover and working really, really well. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.